Structured Frame Maker Demo. Copyrights 2013. Technorights Private Limited. Any unauthorized copying, storage or distribution is prohibited. Hello friends. Today I am going to give you a demonstration of Structured Frame Maker. Before we go ahead, I will tell you how do you ensure that you are actually working with Structured Frame Maker. So take a look at your title bar of the window. It should say Structured. If it does not say that, you will have to change from Frame Maker to Structured Frame Maker. Let me quickly tell you how to do that. So go to File menu, Preferences and General. In the product interface, you should see Structured Frame Maker. Instead, if you see Frame Maker, that means you are working in the Unstructured Frame Maker. Now, in that case, you will need to choose Structured Frame Maker here and say Set. Once you do that, you will need to restart Frame Maker. When you do that, you will see this Structured mentioned in the bracket in the window title. That means you are working in Structured Frame Maker. Let us now go ahead and create a new document in Structured Frame Maker. So file menu, I am going to choose document. Since we will be creating a structured document, I am going to double click the structured temp uh, folder in the templates. And you can see so many structured templates being available. So let's choose Outline Harvard. A new structured frame maker document based on the Outline Harvard template has been created. Now you will see that some of the items are new. For example, this Elements Catalog is new. This would not have been there in the unstructured frame maker. It even tells you that the outline element is valid. Let's go ahead and insert the outline element. So choose outline and say insert. The moment you do that, it asks you to choose attribute because in the definition it has got attribute to be mentioned. I'll simply choose that as Howard and say insert element. The moment I have done that, you can see in the structure view that there is an outline element inserted and within that a title element has been inserted. In fact, it is asking me to type the title. So I am going to say structured frame maker demo here as the title of this document. Look at this structure view here. Can you see this red square? This red square indicates that the minimum required content in this document has not yet been added. So I am going to put my cursor just below title. Now in the elements catalog, it shows you that two elements are valid here. So I am going to insert one of them which is author and I am going to put my name there. So Mac Pandit as the author. You can still see the red square which means that the minimum required content is still not completed. I am going to click after author here. Now it says only element called as topic is valid here. Choose topic from the elements catalog and let's say insert. As you can see a topic has got inserted. So here I am going to say user interface features. I have typed the topic heading. I simply press enter and now it has gone to the topic body. So there are 
many changes to the user interface as you must have noticed this para has come automatically because the structure has got this para defined in it you would have also noticed that the red square is now gone which means the minimum required content to complete the defined structure has now been completed now we just mentioned that some new features have been added to the user interface so let's go and look at those features very quickly so i'm going to go to the elements menu here and i'm going to say validate this will tell me if my structured content that i have just created is valid choose start validating and it says document is valid all right that was good but how do i know that it has actually checked the validity of the document so here is what i am going to do i am going to pick up the author element in the structure view and i am going to drop it after the topic element now watch what happens as i release the mouse to drop the topic here or rather drop the element here well well you can see here that some red lines have come and these red dotted lines obviously mean that something has gone wrong let's go ahead and validate the document again let's see if structured frame maker is able to catch this mistake so element and validate and start validating wow it actually says that author is not valid in this position so as is obvious structured frame maker is actually validating the content let's go ahead and close this now i'm going to drag and drop author back to its place which was between the title and the topic watch carefully as i move my mouse in the correct position there can you see a tick mark next to author that tick mark simply indicates that this element is valid in this position so i'm going to drop it over there let's go ahead and validate the document again so elements and validate and once again it says document is valid this actually proves the point that structured frame maker was validating the content all along and the tick mark indicates that this particular element is valid in the position now let's go ahead and look at some of the other features as we have discussed earlier there are multiple elements that we have inserted in this particular document so i am going to go to the view menu and i am going to say show me the boundaries of these elements as you can see structured frame maker shows the boundaries in the form of square brackets so you can see that the outline element start here and it's of course the last element to end because it contains all other elements the author element starts here just before mac and ends here just after pandit will it be possible to actually show them as tags so let's go to view menu and say show element boundaries as tags and this is what i like about structured frame maker now there cannot be any confusion possible so it actually says that the outline element starts here and ends here the author element starts here and ends here and so on so structured frame maker will not allow you to go wrong all that you have to do is choose the correct template and go on inserting elements now when i open this document this element catalog and the structure view was already open but where did it come from so i'm going to go ahead and close the elements view there and close the structure view there now let's go ahead and open the elements catalog so can you see this icon here so click on that and that's your element catalog 
and click on the structure view there the icon and it opens the structure view of the document for you in the elements catalog you have got multiple options so you can choose to see all the elements or you can choose to see only the elements which will be valid starting from the beginning of the document to the end of the document now once again i'm going to repeat these steps so that you understand what i'm doing oh i almost forgot to tell you that within the file menu you have got a separate menu added called as structure tools structure tools help you to create a new edd edd stands for element definition document a uh, edd is the document that is used to create the structure template a detailed discussion of edd is beyond the scope of this particular demonstration however you may want to note that there is a whole lot of functionality available here in the structure tools menu after this particular version of frame maker there are many newer versions of frame maker launched and in the newer versions the structure tools menu has been moved to the main menu they have even given you data integration and that also appears somewhere over here in the main menu if you want go ahead and download the trial versions of the latest version of frame maker from the adobe website go to structured frame maker and play around with it very quickly i am going to create one more structured document just to recap all that that we have done so i am going to say file new and uh, let's say document and from the structure let's choose report numeric there we go and i'll say new okay so as you can see the moment i have chosen this template now the first element it wants me to insert is a report element so i am going to choose the report and click on insert optionally i could have also double click that so let's go ahead and report insert the report moment i insert a report element it says please type the heading so the heading is going to be suitability of structured frame maker for our documents all right you know what is to be done next now i am going to put my cursor below the head and it says okay now either you can insert a author here or a footnote here let me go ahead and insert the author by double clicking on that and author name is same as last time which is mac pandit after the author it says now you can include the purpose now notice that there is a footnote element that has been valid all along since i have inserted the heading of the report a footnote is quite similar to any other footnote that you would insert in frame maker or in word now because you should have the liberty of inserting the footnote anywhere in the document a footnote element is available to you throughout the document in other words a footnote element can be inserted anywhere in the report element since we don't need it we are not going to insert that here so let's go ahead and insert the purpose and i am going to say to study if structured frame maker is suitable for our requirements all right after the purpose now is the para so insert the para and we performed this study on january 18 2013 during the study we found structured frame maker to be suitable as you can see 
the minimum required content is not yet complete so I'm going to click here and see what else can I insert here so now it's allowing me to insert a section all right so let's insert the heading of the section capability to validate the elements all right and below the heading now let's put a para as you can see here now many more elements are allowed so I can insert a figure I can insert an extract a list a table and so on and so forth so this is the amount of flexibility that can also be built into a structured frame maker template let's go ahead and add a para structured frame maker allows users to validate the documents to ensure that the structure is valid all right let's go ahead and look at our content so the red square has vanished which means my content here is structured and the minimum required content is complete this concludes our demonstration of structured frame maker i hope you liked it